Hey tech fans, Elric here once again. Are you guys looking for a mid tower case with a totally black and green theme for the build? Then you want to check out the H440 Razor Edition. The H440 Razor Edition is a mid tower case and you guys can see all the colors externally are matte black and on the front it's really clean. No external bays or anything but you do get that killer snake head logo. And as we move around to the windowless side of the case, you guys can see that there are a bunch of air vents for keeping the airflow in the case going. Nothing else really there special, just a nice solid wall. And actually the entire case is made out of nice steel material that actually has sound dampening material inside of it. Going around to the back of the case, we can see that the very bottom is a removable bay for installing the power supply. There are also two grommets for water cooling as well as all the industry standard stuff. As we come around to the window panel side of the case, you guys can see that this panel actually has a smoky look to it, which looks pretty much like a tinted window in a car. And taking a look at the bottom of the case, you guys can see there's plenty of room by the vents for airflow, as well as a very nice removable air filter. And lastly, as we go to the top of the case, you guys can see there's your standard power on button, your reset button. Now something unique about the power button here though, is it also controls the LED lights. There's a cool green LED on the bottom of the case when it's plugged in, as well as that front razor logo snake also lights up in green. We also see the standard mic and audio connections, as well as two USB 3.0 ports and two USB 2.0 ports. And as we're still checking out the outside of the case, this case size is in at 220 millimeters by 510 millimeters by 475.3 millimeters. Like most NZXT cases, you can completely disassemble this case, which makes it great for doing the build and also for cable management. You can remove the front panel, the top panel, and both the side panels very easily. All the fans included in this system are all of their brand new FN V2 series. And we start off on the front, we'll see that there are three 120 millimeter fans located here, as well as a magnetic dust filter. Now this dust filter is really easy to take on and off. It can be washed and reused as many times as you want. So no more excuses for that filthy, nasty, dirty case. And as we spin around to the rear, we can see there's a single 140 millimeter FN V2 fan here as well, but on the top, you can have an additional 240 millimeter fans or 320 millimeter fans, depending on your choice. Liquid cooling support is a big question in today's builds. In fact, liquid cooling has gone from being the bastard child to the mainstay, and the H440 doesn't let you down. On the top, you get support for up to a 360 millimeter rad, and on the front, you get the same support just by removing all the HDD cages. And on the rear of the case, you can either use a single 140 millimeter rad or a single 120. When removing the front panel, you guys can see there's a cable running from the case to the front panel. This is the light power for the logo on the front. As we move the back panel, you guys can see there's actually a cool integrated 10 port fan hub built into the case itself. And there's also plenty of room for excellent cable management. And cable management in a build, it's what separates the men from the boys. And as we move the top panel, you guys can see right underneath there is where you can install those fans we talked about, as well as the top mounted rad. Last but not least, as we remove the windowed side of the case, inside you guys can see that it's completely matte black. It supports mini ITX, micro ATX, and standard ATX motherboards. The GPU clearance without removing the HDD cage is 294 millimeters. But if you remove the HDD cage, you get 406.2 millimeters of space. And the CPU cooler distance is 180 millimeters. This is the distance from your motherboard to the panel. Now, as far as internal expansion goes, on the rear, we see seven expansion slots. We also see an HDD cage with room for six 5.25 devices, and also an additional two spaces for a 3.5 or 2.5 drive. And as we scroll down to the very bottom, you guys can see once again that Snakehead Razor logo, and this is protecting the power supply. All right, tech fans, so there you guys have it the NZXT H440 Razer Edition. Now there were a couple of things I couldn't show you just in the case review, I'll have to actually do the build, but those are the lighting features. Like I said, the front logo, it lights up and on the very bottom, you get a cool green glow, just like when you see those really killer cars going down the street and they got that glow underneath them that looks badass. Any of you guys who play any of the games out there like GTA 5, you've seen that modification. Well, it's actually on this case. And being that the theme is black and green, I'm going to say that people are probably going to tend to 
want to probably do more NVIDIA type builds in this. I'm just saying that because of the theme. I mean, you can build an AMD build in it, but I'm just saying the green theme is, you know, green and black's kind of NVIDIA's colors. You know, red and black is the AMD theme. So, you know, I'm just saying that. Not taking sides, so don't go crazy on me. But for a mid tower case, this thing has lots of features. You guys saw it, plenty of expansion. You can put many rads in there three separate ones, which means ultimate liquid cooling. You've got room for lots of their fans. They even include some of their brand new FN V2 fans. These things are silent and work really well to remove a lot of air from your case. So if you're looking for great airflow, all in all, the design here is pretty cool. Now this case comes to market about $149, but like I said, it's pretty much fleshed out for you guys who want a mid tower case that can do a lot. Now, if you're looking to build like an extended ATX motherboard or something like that, you're not going to be able to use that inside of that case. There's not that many motherboards out there, but if you're using one of those type of motherboards, you're going to have to get probably a full tower case. But for a mid tower case, I think this Razer Edition is a pretty cool case. I want to see what you guys think down below. Also, once again, I'd like to hear you guys once again, name the system. Hey, that's right. I'll be picking the winner for the, the other system that we did the other day. I'll be announcing that on Twitter. You guys will like who I got. Uh, I think it's a pretty interesting name. And for this one, we're going to do the same thing. So please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this case and what you guys think the name of this system should be. Huh? Huh? Pretty interesting stuff. Like usual, down below that like button will be all the information for this case. So you can check one out for yourself, get more information or buy one if you're looking to do a build yourself. Look forward to this build. We'll see you back here on Tech of Tomorrow for more tech.